Hey guys, in today's video, we will be designing a single page portfolio. It will have a large photo with a parallax effect, a hire me button, and a grid of recent projects. We begin with an empty Bootstrap 5 design. I have prepared the photos that we'll use ahead of time. Just drag and drop them in. Our next task is to add a new font from Google Fonts. It is called WorkSans. We will need several font weights in our design. Then we create a new CSS block that will hold our changes. The app will automatically choose the body selector for the block. Set the font we imported here so it can take effect. After this, we need to customize the bootstrap theme. This will override Bootstrap's colors from a single place. I have a text file prepared with the colors we need. I'll just copy over the primary, info, and dark colors. Set the text color. Make the page background dark and change the font weight. We can now start laying down the page by dropping a header, inside it we will add a parallax background component. Change its height to 600 pixels and select the header photo in the animation tab. Next, we will add a container. Again, create a new CSS block to hold the changes. And then set a height and a max width. This will make the element taller and narrower so it looks good on every screen size. Inside the container, we will drop a heading and a paragraph. We need these elements to stick to the bottom of the container. To do this, we will use the Flexbox group of options. Remember to switch to the smallest device breakpoint. This is because the flex settings are mobile first and are applied to the selected size and larger. As a result, the text will appear on the bottom on every screen size. As for the text itself, let's copy it over. First the heading and then the paragraph. We will make the heading big and bold. The paragraph also needs to be a bit bigger. To apply custom styling to it without affecting all other paragraphs on the page, we need to give it a custom class name. Then select the class name and give the element some padding. I'll give it a dark background and apply a bottom margin with Bootstrap's MB Utility class. We'll begin the next section by dropping a main component. Inside it, we will add a section and a container. To speed things up, select the section and duplicate it a couple of times with the command D, shortcut on Mac, or Control D on Windows. Add a paragraph in the container and copy the introduction text from the document.
We also need to make this text bigger with the font size option. To create the social media icons, we add a list element and switch it to inline style. Leave only the first list item. Inside it, we drop an icon. Remove the surrounding text and switch it to the Twitter icon from Font Awesome 5. Select the parent and duplicate it. Double-click each of the copies to change them. Multi-select the three icons by clicking while holding Command on Mac or Control on Windows. And apply a larger font size to all of them. We just need to give them a bit of horizontal margin with the Bootstrap ME class. Let's move on to the banner. Drop a div in the container and give it a unique class name. Create a new CSS block for it and select it. Grab a paragraph and place it in the div. Apply some padding to offset it from the sides. Then center the text. Choose a background color. And set a border radius. Make the paragraph larger and replace its text. Drop a button after the paragraph. Change its text. Make it dark and increase its size. Make it uppercase and bold as well. Grab an icon and place it after the text. Double click to change it to a chevron. For the project part of the portfolio, we will start with a heading. Change the text and switch it to H2. Search for a row and place it after the heading. After this, add a column. Finally, add a card with overlay. We will give the row a bit of vertical padding to give the project card some room. To improve the responsiveness of the page, we will use the per row option. By setting it to 1, we make the card take the entire width of the window. On medium width devices, we will show 2 per row. And on extra large and above, we will show three. Select and delete the elements in the card, leaving only the image. Double click it and choose the first project. Then select the column and duplicate it a few times. 
To give the cards vertical offsets, we will override a bootstrap CSS variable. To do this, select the row, give it a unique class name, and create a CSS block. Then just give a value to the gutter Y custom property. All that's left is to change the project images. The last section of the website is the footer. Drop a footer component in the body. And inside it, add a row with two columns. The footer itself will need a custom background color. Expand and select it here. Add some vertical padding. Then drop a div inside the column. Add a couple of paragraphs as well. I'll copy over the text from our notes. It will be best if we replace the heart emoji with an icon so it fits with the rest of the design. Make the first paragraph larger and bolder. and remove the bottom margin. The footer has a copy of the same social icons we made earlier, so we can just copy them over. To copy, press Command-C on Mac or Control-C on Windows. Right-click and choose Paste Linked. This will create a synced copy of the icon so they remain identical regardless of which copy we edit. Let's see how the design looks on smartphones. We need to center the footer content. To do this, use the alignment option. To give the element some vertical space, use the PY Utility class. To center the icons, we will use the Flexbox group. To clear the extra space on the bottom, use the MB0 class. On medium-sized screens, we need to undo the centering. We'll just use the Flex Box Group and Text Align option again. Another thing we need to improve is to give our section some padding. Multi-select them by clicking while holding Shift. Then assign the PY Utility class to all of them.
5 is a bit too much in our case, so I'll set it to 4 on all screen sizes and to 5 only on large displays. With this, our design is complete. In the next videos of the series, we will enhance the portfolio with CSS animations, build a working Hire Me form, and add switching between dark and light mode. As always, you can grab the finished design in the description. If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.